Whether it's the production of food, the manufacturing of pharmaceuticals, or the energies we rely on, there are many seemingly unrelated industries that all have one thing in common. During their daily operations, these industries all introduce the risk of explosive environments or hazardous areas. These are places where flammable liquids, vapours, gases or combustible dusts may occur in quantities sufficient to cause a fire or an explosion. To reduce the potential of serious incident or catastrophic event, risk management and safety measures are introduced to ensure that people, communities, facilities and the environment are protected. Specialised electrical and mechanical equipment used within these environments must meet strict regulatory requirements and be manufactured to appropriate international IEC and ISO standards. To learn more about the manufacturing compliance process and international IEC and ISO standards, please watch this video on our website. And to learn more about the Certified Facility Scheme, please watch this video, also available on our website. The experts who operate the equipment in these environments require specialised knowledge, skills and experience. So how do we ensure the experts who design, install, inspect and work in highly specialised areas can obtain the required knowledge, skills and experience? The IECEX Certification of Personnel Competence Scheme enables the assessment of personnel competence against detailed requirements. An IECEX certificate can be obtained by the applicant for specific competence units, which provides independent validation of the ability of the applicant to apply their knowledge and practical skills. The assessment process of personnel is conducted by IECEX approved certifying bodies, EXCBs. These are specialist organisations who themselves are accredited against strict and comprehensive IECEX roles and comply with the international standards. So why is personal competency important? Despite every effort to design, manufacture, install and maintain industrial equipment to operate safely, often the safety can still be compromised by human error. The fact is that even today, there are still workplace injuries and deaths resulting from a lack of training and competence. Unfortunately, this is a direct indication that not all personnel who operate or are involved in hazardous areas are suitably competent. Most countries have occupational health and safety legislation regarding safety in the workplace. And in most cases, the owner or operator of the facility is responsible for the safe operation of electrical and mechanical equipment under their control. Employing or upskilling people who work in hazardous areas can help reduce the likelihood of incidents and catastrophic events, as well as improve the explosion protection integrity for the life of the equipment. Qualifications, training, skills and experience are all contributing factors to the competence of an individual. But how can industry be certain, especially with third-party service providers, that their level of competence meets the expectation of the tasks undertaken? The IECEX Personnel Competence Scheme is verification by assessment by an independent organisation. An IECEX approved certifying body has the expertise to assess the competence of the individual to apply skills, knowledge and experience in the workplace to reduce risks associated with activities undertaken. As vital to industry as training is, this may not automatically mean the person is now competent. This can only be assured by a demonstration to apply knowledge obtained during the training for both practical and theoretical skills. In conducting any assessment to verify an individual's competence, it is critical that objective evidence be obtained. It is not concerned with how the knowledge and skills are obtained, but only uses an assessment of objective evidence. The IECEX Personnel Competence Scheme includes 12 units of competence that addresses the specialisations required for each unit. An individual's job description will likely require more than one specific unit of competence. The competence units can evolve with the needs of industry. For example, the new competence unit Introduction to Hydrogen was established to address the rapid development of the hydrogen economy with additional units in development. The IECX Personnel Competence Scheme provides upon successfully passing the assessment process 
with an IEC X Personnel Competence Assessment Report. This is a historical report of the personnel assessment and reassessments, which can be verified on the IECX online certification system and is accessible by the public. And an IECX Certificate of Personnel Competence, known as a Certificate of Conformity, COPC, for the personnel who pass the practical and theoretical assessments by the approved IECX certification body. Regular reassessments ensures that the certified person maintains his or her competencies to the relevant standards. The IECX COPC is personal and valid across international borders. As well as the certificate itself, the person obtains an identification card with photo providing instant proof of certification on site. Alternatively, the COPC may be verified on the IECX online certification system. If you are a trained, skilled and experienced person looking to achieve IECX certification for your competence, please follow these simple steps. Start by reading IECX Guide 05A, available on the IECX website. Review OD504, which provides details on the various certification units defined by the type of work done and it also defines the assessment requirements for certification to each unit. Review OD503, which outlines the certification process. They may contact any of the approved IECX EX certifying bodies for the IECX Personnel Competence Scheme to advance their career in the EX industry. And the full list of recognised training providers can be found here. For more information, please visit our website.